today I am going to show you how I made these beautiful, lovely beanie. So this is a knitted by my other express machine and I'm going to wear this tonight. I'm about to go out and have my free tournament of poker. But before I went, uh, before I'm going, I'm going to show you how I made this one. So basically it's the color of the dragon or the swan, which is the football team. And I, I just love red and white anyway, so that's why I made it. Now these are made of a cotton blend um, yarn, which is super wonderful because it's nice and soft. Um, it's lovely and it doesn't catch any lint from other clothes. So what I have done is um, I'm going to stop buying this 100% acrylic yarn. So what I'm going to do is flip it over and show you the red on the other side. So red on one side and then reversed, you got this lovely red and white. So you can wear this one like so. Have it slouch like, like that, where you can just show all the red and white like so. Or if you like to have it nice and firm on your head and snug, you can always fold it up and have the brim like that. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's great, isn't it? I mean, it's nice and warm, keeps my head warm and it's so comfortable. Or you could flip it over and again, you could wear it the other way around and have it slouch as well. So pull the back down like so and have it nice and snug in here like, so, like, like that. Or if you really want it tight and firm and you want to show the red and the white. So I've got red brim, a white brim with a red body. So there you go. There's my other side of my beanie. So stay tuned and watch how I make this. Then less than one hour, which is I'm super, super, super excited because it used to take me three hours to do one beanie. But now it takes me less than one hour. So of course I did it by manual, which is the two crochet or the two needles. And I have become a faster in making it and it did um, take me an hour and a half to do one simple beanie, but that's only for one sided, not double sided. So again, it would still uh, take me three hours to do two sided. So, but I did, I used this lovely are the express machine which is such a fantastic tool and i'm so glad i invested on that because that makes my life making beanie a lot easier so tonight i am going to wear the red and the white so let's begin and i will show you okay so i'm just going to try to do where the perfect side is because i don't want to show the join so let's do that. Let's make a slouch beanie right now. So stay in tune and watch the way I do it. Thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do and keep um, your little bell on the top to make sure that you will not miss some of my video. I also have other hobbies like playing tournament pokers and my plants and my fish and of course other stuff that comes with my life that I'm going to put some more on my upload for YouTube for you guys to share. Thanks heaps and see you in my process of making my lovely slouch beanie. Hello hello my beautiful friends. Let's do some knitting today. I'm going to uh, show you how I start and finish my lovely beanie that I'm going to make. Um, today I'm going to do a white. This is actually a really cool yarn that I have discovered recently. It's a cotton blend, 200 gram, 220 meter. Um, the length of the actual yarn is 8 play, which is really good. And it's soft. And it's. I've noticed that when I make this one, it doesn't catch the lint from other clothes. So I actually quite like it. Um, you do have to spend a little bit of extra cash. This one is $6.50 per roll. 
Um, I can make one beanie per roll, but I'm going to mix it with red and the same material as well. And the actual company that I, um, or the brand that I buy it, buy it is a Porter Craft, which is Laxy or Cotton Blend 8 Play. So it's a really good, a good quality um, cotton blend um, yarn. So let's begin our lovely um, knitting of all these lovely two beautiful colors. So I'm going to do red. It's, 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 it's quite a dark red, so it's not very overpowering. This is from the same company, but this actually is 100% acrylic. Okay, so I've been using this before too because this is one of my favorite, nice and soft when you make the beanie. But I have discovered that this is so much better, although it is a little bit more expensive. So that's $3 a yarn. Okay, this one is $3 and this one six fifty. So you do pay a little bit extra, but the quality is worth it. So I'm going to use this and hopefully I get to wear this lovely beanie tonight. So when I go out and play tournament, um, there is a free roll tournament that I'm going to play. So I'm going to wear this lovely beanie that I've just made. So I can make this in half an hour or an hour, hopefully. And so I'm just going to find the... So when you're doing a yarn... You need to find the middle um, bit so it's easier for you to to do your knitting. So basically this is the outside yarn. So I'm just going to tie it into this um, a roll that I have just put together like so. And then we're just going to go into the middle of the actual roll and then find that middle yarn. So that's my little trip uh, tip for the before knitting. So we go. So if you find that middle yarn, it'll be easier for you to knit because then you can just pull the yarn out like so rather than this is rolling everywhere. So I'm just going to put this on the side and then just pulling the yarn as I go along. So let's begin our beautiful journey. So I'm going to do red one side and white on another side. Okay, so when you flip the beanie over, you'll see one red on the brim. Or you can make it a slouch. But this one, I'm going to do this. So basically, this is the Adi Express machine that I have um, purchased a little while ago. Now this cost about $250, so it is a little bit expensive, but it is worth it because my my work time has reduced to making beanie for three hours by hand, but now I'm making it for, you know, I can make it at least an hour. I'm still a beginner, so it does take a little while for me, like a lot of people make it quick and fast. So anyway, let's begin. So basically you grab the yarn, you give it a little bit of a length, and then you put it on your first black, which is the beginning. So you put it down like so. And then you skip one. One thread or one teeth of your knitting machine. And then you put one in. And then you skip. And then you do another one. So you're skipping one until you get all around into the actual um, machine. So when you get back to the black teeth or a needle that's when you begin your first round so this is just to start your um, beanie so as you can see I'm skipping one and then catching the next skip and then catch that's how you do it so I have just basically learned for obviously from others and there it is so now we're back here, so now make sure that these two are catching up, and then just slide it down like so. So now we're going to do this. Now for an exact beanie, for me, I think 130 stitches around is a perfect length for um, a slouch beanie or if you want to fold the brim. But I'll show you that later on once I'm done. So basically that's the beginning, we don't count that one. I'm just going to put this in zero and then I'll know how many stitches I've done. So close this up and now we begin our little journey. So I hope you can see that. Okay, and then you just twist the 
you can see I've got this little twister in here and I'll just twist it along until we got halfway down so 65 is the stitches that I'm looking at and then I change it to I mean I could change it to or you can have it any color that you like but today I'm going to do I'm gonna try the black I mean the red and white or I could do red and black it's actually red and black is pretty cool so basically I try to get my yarn straight and those clicking noise that you hear are the counting noise so we've done three this is number four number four round so you can see it's quite faster than knitting by hand and it's pretty much the same you know the same uh, work you can't tell that it's done by machine or by um by hand unless of course you know that you i mean knowing that it is done by machine it's different by hand but i mean it's still still done by hand because you're still manually rolling the machine but it's just a little bit better tools obviously because if I was to knit I would need just two needles to um, knit the yarn but this I'm using a better tools which is the AliExpress knitting machine and what I have here is the um, 46 stitches so 46 teeth all around which is very much all the adults and teen so this is a, a one size mostly fits all it is quite stretchy so you will have no problem in fitting all sorts of different sizes on the head so I actually make this for the ladies the teen and for the men and then I've just this, this year I've just started making some and I haven't had video my work but today I thought I'd just show you the whole entire process of how I do my beanie um, I'm, like I said I'm still a beginner using this machine I don't have that um, machine like the that one that you put at the very end and make it nice and fast I'm just gonna do my my little thing by hand and I'm just gonna time this all you know tease myself because if you do miss one thread or one teeth it's very hard to get back to your actual work so I'm trying not to miss one little spot so I can continue just rolling and rolling so this is going to be a, a lovely little beanie that I wear and if I do wear it and someone like it and they want to make an order to place it I do sell my beanie, so just a little bit of pocket money to get some money back to buy my yarn once I finish my yarn. But yes, I am going to try to finish all my 100% acrylic yarn and concentrate on making my beanie on this cotton blend because this cotton blend is just so much softer, so much nicer. The feel is, you just feel the quality. I don't like the wool because the wool is itchy and um, it shrink as well when you wash it. So this one is a, a cotton blend. It is just like washing your own clothes. It actually is perfect. So that's my favorites at the moment. So I have bought some 100% acrylic yarn because the colors that I wanted with this particular brand or this cotton blend doesn't have all the colors that I wanted. I wanted to make beanies for all the um, all the NRL color and AFL, but unfortunately uh, they don't have all the colors, so I had to sort of you know blend it. So anyway, I'm just having a look at my work. As you can see, if I was doing this by hand, there's no way in the world that I would be this fast, this quick, and make this length. Okay, so even though I'm slow in here, I'm still quite fast. This is still quite fast. You know, it used to start, I used to start making many, and what encouraged me is to make one for my mom for Mother's Day. 
And I'll tell you what, I didn't have any pattern. I just looked at the picture and I started making one. It took me nine hours to actually finish one. And even then, it wasn't even that bloody good. So I practiced and practiced until I managed to make one. And I would make one in three hours. It would take me three hours to do one beanie. But as I, uh, you know, I get better, I discovered a crocheting, and crocheting was a little bit faster. So I managed to make one beanie for an hour and a half. But now I can make the shape of a beanie, and I can literally make this in half an hour. But because of the joining, um, you know, joining, finishing it, so it does take a little bit of finishing, but just rolling, I can I can do at least half an hour, which is a lot faster than I would ever, you know, imagine that I could do a beanie in half an hour. So we are on row 48 now, so we're almost halfway, which is fantastic. And I'm about to change the color very shortly. So another. 15 rows and I will change it to um, to the white color what and I could do I could do black I suppose black is pretty cool I might just do black maybe I don't know we'll see let me just make that to the very end and see what color I would change it to because I kind of changed my mind as I got along. I kind of make my own little, little pattern to make it more interesting. But red and black is a good combination. Because when you get sick of uh, um, one colour, then you can flip it over and try your other colour. So we're in a row 58 now. We're almost there. Let me just balance myself. I think. Oh, I hope I didn't miss it. I think I have. So yeah, that's very dangerous when you're missing one stitch because it just ruins your work. And luckily, it hasn't actually skipped the stitch, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're almost there. I'm checking my work that it is not missing any stitches. Because if it does, I'll have to start over again. And I really don't want to do that. So there's my, my work at the moment. Can you see that? See, that's what it looks like on the other end. And then this is, of course, the inside. So there. So three more rows, then we'll change colour. It is a little bit wobbly in here. Yes, I should be doing it on the table, but it is starting to get very cold in here. I just want to be warm in bed. So I'm rolling my push my bean in my room. I don't want to be out there in the cold in the lounge. Okay, so now we're on row 66. I am going to change colour. So what you need to do is flip this colour inside. And I either have two colors, so I might do, what I might do is I'll do white and then do red, white, red, white, red, white. Okay, so let's do that. So let's find the middle section, which is quite easy because I've already done it earlier. There we go. So I'm going to do... A white and white, white, red, white, red. So there you go. I changed my mind again. <laughs> so, all right. So you find your yarn, the same thing. So what I do is I place the last red into the black, the first black. And then I just insert that into the second, I mean, to that section. And make sure that you catch both of them when you go down like so. And then... Make sure that you don't miss that. So you open that up and you slide that in. 
Now what I normally do so I don't have a tail hanging around loosely, I'll just tie this one into the red, so the white into the red, like so. You don't have to be too tight, just loosely. And then, and then I'm going to use this, I'm going to bring it to that, that tail, and I'm also going to feed it with my other white. So I'm not going to have hanging around some loose ends. So I'm just going to close that, catch it, and there it is. So now we're starting our first round. And then I'm just going to pull a little bit of that, so make it tight. And here we go for our second. Uh, just make sure that you're catching the first and because sometimes it doesn't catch it so there we go perfect now we're on row two and obviously we will change the color so this is row two and three I might do 20 white and then do 10 and 10 just to give a change so 65, 75, 85 rows we change to the red and we'll do red, white, red, white you can see there's no um, excess yarn in here. I'll just pull that one a little bit. So the join will be nice and smooth and there's no yarn hanging around everywhere. So in 75, so 10 more rows, I will change it to red. And I'll do five red and five white Instead of 10, I think 10 might be a little bit too high or too long. Just make it stripe like where's Wally kind of color. But this is actually the color for Swan, the um, football team, or the dragons. So either way, if someone likes to um, buy the beanie and they want their team colors, this would be the perfect colors for the two teams. The red and white which is I tried to do that because then if people like to buy they like to order with me then they can buy the color that they like so now we'll come up to row 85 now we're going to change it and when you're changing it you just grab your roll and pull try to change it into the first black so keep that in there and then I put it in the middle right there and then bring the red swap it over and catch it so both so there's your white make sure it's on the teeth and then the red again is on the teeth so i just got to make sure that i catch it as i go like that but then make sure it's not so tight in here otherwise you can't stretch your beanie like so okay now make sure that we follow the same motion like so and then just give that a little bit of room for it to maneuver while you're rolling your second color okay so that's there now we close this bit and we begin another five rounds so we just count it five now you just gotta keep an eye on you on your roll that it's not catching up because sometimes it gets tight right there we go and because then your work it's either loose tight loose tight so we're going to try to do a momentum of the same um the same tightness okay so we're in the first round so that's two and i'm getting cramps Pencil needle, so not moving. Three. Four. 
있고 아. 오케이, so in row 5, just to make sure we have got 5 stitches, so I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. And then we change again for this one. And then we don't have any join anymore because they're all, we're not cutting it. So we just change it again and catch both yarn and then swap. swap it let's take a little bit of time to catch it make sure we do catch it the join where obviously the yarn was short and joined by the factory round for this red and we'll swap it to the white I'm just going to make sure my yarn is not tangled up so my work is nice and smooth and I try to stretch this one now and again just to make sure that it's not getting too tight and then I'll just try to bring the join in so it doesn't show and the right side when we do flip our yarn our beanie later on okay so now we swap colors and we go for the white now i'm in a hundred already rows so i need another 30 more and then we're done okay so there we go Three, four, round five, looks like round five, one, two, three, four, five, yep. And then we go around, we change our colors to red. There we go, beautiful. Two, one, two. One, three. gets caught in here so we just need to make sure that you know making many is a little bit of a challenge doesn't look like you know it's done with ease so where are, where are we around three around four and around 
five. One five, beautiful. Now we swap again. Now I did uh I did not catch it a bit early, so I will go back reverse. But I just gotta make sure that I don't slip anything in here because if you do you miss your yarn, that's when the problem is. So I just catch that and nothing came off in here when I reverse it a little bit just to catch the teeth. Make sure you don't put any yarn around this, otherwise it's gonna get caught. So round one, two, three, four, and five. One more change. Might need to do no, two more changes, maybe. No, three more changes, sorry, because I only got six to fifteen. So one, there. One, two. is going to be our last one so what I do is I'm going to cut my white yarn like so okay so I'm done with white but I'm going to do the last remaining rows with the red one and this is, will be the end of our beaning Okay, so ready? So I'm just going to catch it and then follow it there. So we thread that in and what I'll do is, see this yarn here? I'm going to tie it on the red one that we just feed through just to secure it there, like so. So it doesn't get loose in the end. So I'm just and this is our last little thing. So I'm gonna feed that into the teeth. And as I crochet, as I knit. So it's nice and neat. And we do the last five of these lovely reds. I even don't have to, I'm only 29 now, so I might just do three rows. Okay, this is gonna be our last one. And Bingo. There's our last row because it's 30, 30 rows, 130 rows. And then we're just going to cut it off to finish it off like so. And then take the yarn out and let it feed and let's just roll it. Now it's finished. So what I do, the quickest way of joining my ends is I grab the very beginning of my um, knitting pull that one through and this is the easiest way I've have experience in my little time that I'm learning there we go so now that is the end of our beanie on the crown and I just do that so what I do is I 
do as tight as I can. Don't pull it too much, otherwise you are going to, to uh, you know, snap the yarn because I have done that before. Now use the needle, this particular needle. So just thread your end of your yarn here, if I can. There you go. And then just do a couple of couple of rounds in here to secure it. So I'm just gonna go from the middle like so, just to secure it that it won't come back loose. So I just do a couple of couple of uh, threading it in like so. And then do that. There you go. So now, then I use this yarn to I'll just get rid of that. Use this yarn so if you can see, hopefully you can. Okay, so they use this yarn to thread the other end of our beanie. So see how I finished here? So I'm going to find that little bit and then I'm going to thread it in. Now what I do also is to making sure that I'm the rest are not coming off as I pull this one in. So I grab my crochet needle and I put it right there to hold it down. So as I slide that in like so, I'm not pulling any of the... Um, stitches that I have along so now and then I just pull that close and then I move my crochet needle and do the second it is a little bit slow but it is secure and you will not uh, lose a spot okay so just making sure you don't have any hair anywhere so there's that one and then you pull so just patient because if you pull it, it's really hard to put back together. So again, we'll do the same. Like so. This is a little bit slow, but you're not going to miss any of the um, stitches. So the finishing is a little bit slow. Oh, and I, used, I lost my needle, my yarn. It's still faster than crocheting or knitting completely by the two needles. So again, hold it there, pull it out. Just be patient because if you're not, you're going to make your work a little bit harder, even harder when you missed the yarn, the um, stitch. There you go, so see, I've caught that and just got to stretch it. I'm going to roll it a bit more and just do the next. Let me just pull that out a little bit. There. You don't want to hurry this section because this section is quite sensitive. You will lose your stitches if you pull it a little bit too much. So just be patient until you get to the very end. halfway
There we go. I got caught in here, so I just got to be careful that I don't pull it too hard. I'm really getting prints and needles, which is not fun. Okay. You can still see that, I hope. Okay, so here we go. Just do it a little bit closer. Pull your yarn a little bit closer. there a little bit more For a moment then I thought I missed one. Huh. That wouldn't be fun. Almost to the finish line. Here we go guys, last one. Now that's the last one is your last yarn. Okay, so just make sure you got that one. There we go. So let's just pull this together. There we go. There's our second crown or second end. So what to do is just make sure that you bring the this one, the last the first one closer obviously to the very edge and just pull it through like so and then you got your first the last bit of yarn and then just join it together like that there we go there's our beanie what I normally do is I try to run my thread a couple of times there like I said to secure it to make sure that it doesn't run in time later on so I'll just grab my yarn again my needle and then I'll go through the underneath and I'll try to catch the first join or first crown together and I'll just go like that Just a couple of rounds. There we go. And then I go through it again. Just make sure you don't sew some of your beanie as you go along. I tried to find the very base of your crown. So I just saw it a couple of times. 
to secure my work. There you go. And one last one. And now we're done. So I'll tie it again. This one. And it's definitely secured. Not going to go anywhere. And one last little tie. And then we cut this one short. Now where do I put my needles? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to just trim it there. Leave a little tail to tuck it in into the actual beanie. Like so. And I even tie it up here. Just to keep it together. Then now, we'll just sew that in to hide it from maybe a little bit short maybe I'll just use the um, I'll use the needles to pull it in like so I'll try to pull it in as much as I can so there's our beanie use a little bit Pull that in to hide it from if I can. There we go. Where is it? Come on, where are you? It's a bit difficult. It's got to be tried to be difficult, doesn't it? On our last little bit. Pull it back in. Come here, you. Why are you doing this to me? It's hard to catch it, isn't it? There we go. Now we got it. Let it go. And there's a crown. How's that for a perfect crown? See? Beautiful. And then you turn it around. Other side. A perfect crown as well. See? Nice. And then here is our double sided beanie. Okay, let's just nicely stretch it just to even up the stitches. That's the very first beanie for this tutorial. The red on one side you flip it over and you got the lovely there's a little bit of a join there so you just need to pull it out and this bit here where i was had the join for the yarn so just make sure you try to hide that little join that's sticking out i don't want people to see that <laughs> so there's this is where i join my yarn changing colors but it looks just fine so you know I won't be able to see that and then as you can see there's red and white and then what you need to do is you want to wear it slouch it or fold the brim so you've got one side red and white and you've got the other side which is red but when you fold it you'll have the brim white how's that I think that's pretty cool. There, finished Benny. Let me see how long it took me. Hmm, can't really see how long. Hmm. 45 minutes. There you go, 45 minutes from start to finish. Okay, maybe I did longer on 
should have done a little bit longer, a shorter in here. So that it would have been a perfect like so. But that doesn't matter because you can't really say. Because it's red anyway, so it's blending. So you could wear it like that. Or you could wear it like that, which is the um, slouch. I have it like that and hanging, hanging a little bit there. Or you could fold it like most people do. They like to fold it. Now I'm not going to put a pom-pom because if you put a pom-pom you can't reverse it. So guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching my first tutorial of how to crochet two color beanie. This of course red and white. And uh, yes, I am a little bit slow compared to a lot of people. I am still a beginner on this machine. But I have crocheted and knitted for a little while. So, okay, so thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I will be making more stuff. I will be making more beanies. And my other hobbies is my plant and my fish. So, again, thank you. Please give me a thumbs up and share my uh, post to your page or your friend's page so they can also learn how to do it um, if you've got the machine. Um, thank you for watching again. See you next time. Bye.